Good morning, and I do hope you are well. This morning's reading is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 2, and it's headed, Spies Sent to Jericho. Then Joshua, son of Nun, sent two men secretly from Shittim as spies, saying, Go, view the land, especially Jericho. So they went and entered the house of a prostitute, whose name was Rahab, and spent the night there. The king of Jericho was told, Some Israelites have come here tonight to search out the land. Then the king of Jericho sent orders to Rahab, Bring out the men who have come to you, who entered your house, for they have come only to search out the whole land. But the woman took the two men and hid them. Then she said, True, the men came to me, but I did not know where they came from. And when it was time to close the gate at dark, the men went out. Where the men went, I do not know. Pursue them quickly, for you can overtake them. She had, however, brought them up to the roof, and hidden them with the stalks of flax that she had laid out on the roof. So the men pursued them on the way to the Jordan, as far as the fords. As soon as the pursuers had gone out, the gate was shut. Before they went to sleep, she came up to them on the roof and said to the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land, and that dread of you has fallen on us, and that all the inhabitants of the land melt in fear before you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you, when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites that were beyond the Jordan, to Sihon and Og, whom you utterly destroyed. As soon as we heard it, our hearts failed, and there was no courage left in any of us because of you. The Lord your God is indeed God in heaven above and on earth below. Now then, since I have dealt kindly with you, swear to me by the Lord that you in turn will do kindly with my family. Give me a sign of good faith that you will spare my father and mother, my brothers and sisters, and all who belong to them, and deliver our lives from death. The men said to her, Our life for yours. If you do not tell this business of ours, then we will deal kindly and faithfully with you when the Lord gives us the land. The word spy is a very heavily laden word, isn't it? It conjures up images of treachery and betrayal. In today's reading, we learn how the Israelites sent two men to reconnoitre the land around Jericho. Reconnoitre is a much more neutral word than spy. For once, we have a fairly simple narrative. We don't know why the two spies chose to stay with the prostitute Rahab. I suppose it's because her services could be easily bought. So let's look at Rahab rather than the Israelite spies. She comes across as a very shrewd woman, and I mean that in a positive way. She can see that after their success in defeating the two kings of the Amorites, it was likely that the Israelites would also succeed in Jericho, as proved to be the case. And so she sought assurances that she and her family would be safe when the inevitable conquest took place. But there is another dimension to Rahab. She acknowledges that the Lord your God is indeed God in heaven above and on earth below. Rahab was not a Jew, and so she would have worshipped another god, or more likely several gods. Even so, she recognised that the God of the Israelites was a powerful God. We find this theme repeated throughout the Old Testament and into the New Testament, where people outside the Jewish faith or outside the church recognise our God. In many ways, they display more faith than those inside the faith. Remember that Jesus sought out people outside the faith as well, the sinners and the tax collectors, and the Samaritan woman at the well, and of course Mary Magdalene herself, who had a dubious past similar to Rahab. The story of the prostitute Rahab serves to remind us that we should look beyond surface appearances and be ready for unlikely people to show us the way of faith. And so let us pray. We pray that when we meet new people, our eyes and hearts may be open to embrace them 
for what they are, and that we can always learn so much from people with different views, different outlooks to our own. Grant us the humility to listen and not to impose our own views on others. Amen. Our parish magazine reminds us that yesterday was Sea Sunday, and I'm going to use the prayer for Men of the Sea by Frank Cahoon, painted, uh, printed on page 8, which I hope will strike a chord with everyone who's travelled by sea. Your first disciples, Lord, were men of the sea, hardy fishermen from the shores of Galilee. They knew from experience the perils of the deep. They also knew your presence with them in their darkest hour. We pray for those who face hazards today. Lord of the sea, be near to guard them in every danger, and let them hear your voice above the tempest. It is I, be not afraid. So bring them to their haven in peace. Amen. And now we bring all our prayers together in the traditional words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Stay safe, and remember that Richard Simmons will lead our prayers as usual on Friday.